Some concerns in the Santa Cruz Mountains tonight because of that red flag warning lasting through the weekend. KIUN's Anna Terea, she headed to Scotts Valley for us. She checked to see how people are preparing for the potential fire danger. A breeze could be felt in Scotts Valley Friday, but with a red flag warning in place, Santa Cruz County leaders say they're expecting high wind conditions, something that puts Shirley Macon on edge. Be aware of it and watch the weather, but it hasn't been very windy or dry today. Macon's lived in Scotts Valley since 1982. She tells KION during red flag warnings she's lost power. We live in the mountains, so we have a generator and we definitely have supplies and stuff, so it's more annoying than... <laughs> <laughs> anything. And Dave Reed with the Santa Cruz County Office of Response, Recovery and Resilience says with the recent wet weather, it is helpful, but people should still stay vigilant. We don't want community to be complacent um, and we want to make sure that they're, you know, paying attention to communications and listening to the radio or the news and just keeping an eye out in their community. Reed adds that people should be prepared for localized outages. This is due to PG&E's enhanced power safety settings. What it does is that if there's a tree branch um, that gets blown through, you know, and, and knocked off during the wind and it lands on the power line and it does so in such a way that it could create a spark, the power line is shut off within a millisecond. Megan says she tries to stay prepared and listen for the alerts and warnings that come down. Reporting in Scotts Valley, Anna Torreya, KION News Channel 46. Thank you to Anna for that. Santa Cruz County leaders also urging people to avoid using equipment that could spark a flame or use of any flame tools.